Hello, St. Gerard. I am coming to you from our little chapel at the rectory. We've always had this chapel as a place for prayer for us priests and also so that we have the Blessed Sacrament close for communion calls to the sick. Um, but it's also become the place where I'm offering my daily private Mass for all of you and for your intentions. I wanted to uh, send a special message to you today because today is a very holy, a very sacred day in the church. Today is a solemnity, which is the very highest feast day that we can have, and it's a solemnity in honor of St. Joseph, whose picture is here on the wall next to me. By the way, a great thing about solemnities is that when they fall during Lent, you can actually, if you gave something up for Lent, have some of it today as a little way to taste the, the joy of this holy day. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about why St. Joseph is so important always, and I think in a special way for us right now. St. Joseph is mentioned in every Mass in Eucharistic prayer because of his important role. When you think about it, God chose him to guard, to watch over, to care for his greatest treasures. Jesus himself, our Lord incarnate, and Mary, the mother of the Lord. Joseph had questions about his role in God's plan when he found out that his spouse, Our Lady, was with child. He questioned his own worthiness to be part of that, but he was reassured by the angel and told to take Mary, his wife, into his home to care for her and to care for her son. And so St. Joseph did that heroically, selflessly. He journeyed with her from Nazareth to Bethlehem for the birth of Jesus, and then he had to take them into Egypt when the life of Jesus was sought, when he was just a little child. And so he's this courageous, selfless, heroic guardian of God's greatest treasures. And we believe that continues into our own day with the church. The church is the body of Christ. Mary is the icon of the church in her perfection. And so just as Joseph watched over Jesus and Mary, he watches over the church today. And the church, like the whole world, certainly finds herself in unprecedented times right now. Uh, earlier this week, as I sent that letter to you after Archbishop Carlson suspended all public masses, I said I wrote with a heavy heart because we're not able to come together as a parish family to celebrate the mass around the Lord's altar it's certainly very different celebrating Mass, just myself here in the chapel of the rectory. And it's a time, I think, for us to turn to St. Joseph and ask him to watch over all of us, to keep us safe, to protect our families from all harm, to watch over our parish family and to watch over the whole church throughout the world so that these times of, of separation and perhaps even of isolation might not lead us to despair, lead us away from God, but might draw us more deeply into prayer, might draw us more deeply into the spirit of family life. St. Joseph is the foster father of Jesus and the husband of Mary, wants to help us to live a generous life of faith in our families. So I want to invite you to join me in a special way today in praying to St. Joseph and renewing our trust in his guardianship over each of us and over the whole church throughout the world. I want to remind you that although we can't come together for Mass, the church is still open and our Adoration Chapel is open for you to come visit with our Lord in the Eucharist. We invite you, encourage you to do so. Just keep in mind those social distancing norms when you come to keep a certain distance from other people who might be praying as best as you can. Also, confessions continue to go on at the usual times. So Father Huber was in church last night for our Wednesday evening confessions. I'll be there this weekend, Saturday afternoon at 4 and Sunday morning at 9.30. So don't uh, miss the opportunity to meet our Lord in that sacrament and to receive his grace there. Pray at home. Use sources like Formed. It has so many great ways to continue to nourish and grow in your faith. You can watch the Mass on EWTN or on the Cathedral's website. We might uh, be up and running with a live stream this Sunday for Mass here. We're still working on that. At the very least, though, we'll try and get some, some words of, of preaching out to you on, on the Gospels, as we've been posting them already on our website. 
And again, above all, uh, spend time as families in your homes, in prayer and in just that quality time together. So in conclusion, I want to invite you to join me in praying the Litany of St. Joseph. It's a beautiful prayer uh, to St. Joseph recalling all his many titles and privileges. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Our response now is, have mercy on us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Now our response is, pray for us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you are pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.